Justin, what is Ripper? Ripper is an autonomous robot that can look after leafy vegetables, so that's broccoli, cauliflower, baby spinach and lettuce. And it can drive up and down the rows of lettuce, doing operations on them 24 hours a day. And then solar powered, so it's getting its, uh, topping up its power through the sun throughout the day. You can then use cameras and sensors underneath the robot to look at crop health, uh, look at um, where the weeds are, so you can do weed management with um, some of the implements on Ripper. You can then spray fertilizer on the plants, depending on how the crops are looking in terms of health. So it's looking at ways of taking that sensor data, making decisions based on the sensor data, and then interacting with the crop all in real time as the robot's driving over the crop. So why was it developed? So Ripple was developed to uh, um, look at ways of using uh, research and into a, a prototype and develop. We're looking at reducing labour management uh, costs, looking at ways of improving yield, whether that's through crop uniformity, and it's taking robotic systems to try um, tackle those problems. Mm, excellent. And how does it work? Give us a little bit more data. All right. So Ripper has um, onboard computers that um, work taking navigation data from GPS. It then works out, um, you can then teach it a paddock where the, um, the rows are, where the headlands are. You can then uh, use that GPS data to drive up and down the rows and plot a path. So it can then go up and down the paddock over and over. So you might have it visiting each plant every couple of days. Um, it's then scanning the cameras, uh, the plant, and then it can interact with it, whether it's through weeding, um, spraying, and then, or just giving information back to the farm about what the crop health is looking like and where areas of stress might be within the paddock. If they, when they get that data back, they can go investigate just the areas that are um, looking problematic for the crop and then look at ways of managing that better so you get a more uniform crop, um, less inputs for people going out there and having to do the weeding themselves. Right. And where to from here? What does the next six months look like for the city research team? So we're going to be doing a lot more work with variable rate spraying of fertiliser doing a, a 10 week trial out of the University Farm in Camden. So the main goal of that is to look at can we use um, information about the crop such as its size, um, using vegetation ind indices to see uh, which are the healthier plants, which are the ones that are struggling, and then vary the amount of uh, fertiliser we apply to the areas we identify as lacking nutrition. We'll then see over that 10 week period how the crop adapts and how um, it changes by doing that and if we get a more uniform crop by the end of the growing season and then that'll feed into future experiments as we continue to develop that and other techniques of decision support and crop interaction. Great.